why are family businesses collapsing? Let's come to that. Okay. I look at two kinds of family businesses. One kind of family business is where you're working as a couple. Even that's a family business. I, in one of my companies, my wife is my business partner and both of us work. But even though we are working as a couple, we have complementary skills. We have a common vision and we have a common value system. And of course, we've had to work with each other on how we want to be as business partners and how we want to be as a couple. So how we communicate with each other is important. Like one of the things when we are talking is we just ask who's speaking right now, business partner or life partner. Hmm. Because I'll tell you, it's easy to get carried away where something's not done by one person in the business, but the comment comes like a husband or a wife. You don't do this at home also. That's yeah. it. That's, that's, that's like beginning a WWE match now. Now you do wrestling. You do rock bottom, she gives you choke slam. Okay. <laughs> so you got to be clear. And this is something you have to create. And for that, I think the foundation is, is the strength of your personal relationship. Okay. That's very important. See, couples who are like, oh, my husband is going out, I am free. Or my wife is going out, I am free. I think if that's the approach where you genuinely don't love being with each other, then your business journey with each other is only going to amplify the hell. Mm. Right? So I think as couples, you got to work. And do me and my wife fight? Yes, we do fight. Of course we fight. We are normal. Okay? But through the process, we have our mechanism to realign to to kind of be flexible with each other to understand each other and evolve in our relationship and evolution does not mean re reduction in expression in a lot of relationships i see after years because of the judgments they have about each other their expression goes down expression going down in a relationship is the killer of the relationship and that's when then you have children who look at their parents who are not communicating and they'll say, what's the point of getting married? I don't want to live like brother, sister after 40. <laughs> they don't know the bhai ben jaise rahe No chemistry, no connection, no connection. <laughs> right. So it's not the problem with the next generation. It's the problem with the previous one that makes the next generation think a certain way, right? Uh, uh. Now that comes to family business, a uh, couple businesses. Now when it comes to family business, where there are generations involved or there's a joint family involved, yeah. okay? In such an environment, one of the things that I keep educating family businesses is that don't make people in the family a part of the business because they are family. Make people from the family a part of the business because they have certain skills in the business. Mm. And if they don't, one of the biggest injustices parents have done to our generation. I'm in my 30s. So I'm talking about my dad's generation. One of the biggest injustices my dad's generation has done is they struggled. They built ventures by themselves. But when their children were big enough, they directly made them director and vice president. They didn't let their children go through the struggle. And I know that comes out of love. Ki apna hi to hai. But no. Apna hai, to usko niche se upar lao. Wow. Baju mein AC ka cabin de doge na, kuch kaam ka nahi rahega. Okay? <laughs> then you have a bloody organic fruit, lab grown. It needs air conditioning all the time. Okay? Keep it in the open air and he'll rot. Okay? So the key is in a family business, two things. One, induce the next generation from ground level roles across departments. First, the first three to four years. Let them work in different departments in ground level roles, three months, six months in each department. Let them understand the grassroots of the business. Let them earn the respect of everybody on the team. Because think about it. For your old employees, your child was a child they used to play with on Diwali Puja. And now suddenly this child is no longer a child and he hit puberty and you made him vice president. Now this person is like, you know, this to hai. Right? I've seen him grow up. But let them earn their respect, ground level, grassroots understanding, and then empower them. That's fine. The second rule in family businesses is this. A lot of people say, 
we are making our family a part of the business like they get relatives cousins everybody in the business saying because we trust them ye khud ki family hai ye dhoka nahi denge ye we trust them and i'll tell you then they regret hiring such people because please understand the only reason you hired them is you trust them but is trust the only capability required to be effective on that job role no so this person is not having the skills and knowledge for the job role but you just trust them this person is becoming a watchman for you for their other employees the employees have more capabilities than this person and obviously this person does not have the capability so the employees are also getting frustrated saying because he is this fellow's cousin or that fellow's sister's husband that's why he is here what a useless fellow even you are going to lose talent in your organization mm. just trust is not good enough and this mentality i come from a sindhi community i'm telling you especially in the north indian community this is a big problem we make son in laws who are unemployed and good for nothing managers in companies right and that son in law will have the ego of the world because pehle usko manwar chahiye fir usko salary chahiye right i am telling you such companies are bound to collapse and i don't feel bad for them <laughs> because you That's are the decision yeah yeah you are not making the right decision